हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस पार्ट वी स्टडीड अबाउट मोनोसेक्राइड एंड डाइसेक्राइड वन मोर एग्जांपल ऑफ ओलिगोसेक्राइड इन दिस पार्ट वी विल डिस्कस द ऑन पॉलीसेक्राइड 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 इज द कार्बोहाइड्रेट व्हिच कंटेन मेनी यूनिट्स ऑफ मोनोसेक्राइड it is made up of many units of or we can say that thousands of units of many units of monosaccharide that is called polysaccharide we can categorize polysaccharide on the different basis first one is on the basis of types of monosaccharide the polysaccharide on the basis of types of monosaccharide is two types first one is on the basis of on the basis of types of monosaccharide on the basis of types of monosaccharide the polysaccharide is of two types which one homopolysaccharide homo polysaccharide and second one is hetero polysaccharide hetero polysaccharide what are homo and hetero polysaccharide if all the monosaccharides units are similar types one type of monosaccharide units and form a long chain that is called homo polysaccharide it is made up of it is made up of one type of one type of monosaccharide units that is called homo polysaccharide for example starch and cellulose cellulose both are made up of one type of monosaccharide units that is glucose and second one is hetero polysaccharide in this polysaccharide there are units of monosaccharide which are dissimilar different it is made up of different it is made up of different units of monosaccharide that is called hetero polysaccharide for example hemicellulose 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 may contain different types of units such like as xylose albinos fructose and mannose there are different units then they combine and form a long chain of polysaccharide that is called hetero polysaccharide on the basis of types of monosaccharide this polysaccharide is two types the second one on the basis of function the polysaccharide is also two types on the basis of function the polysaccharide is of two types one polysaccharide that is used as storage form and other one that is used to make the cell wall storage form or storage polysaccharide and second one is structural structural polysaccharide storage polysaccharide the plants synthesize food in the form of glucose but we know that glucose is a reducing sugar then this plant transfer this glucose from another place in the form of sucrose sucrose is a disaccharide that is non reducing sugar but 
plant only store the food in the form of starch because starch is stable. So storage form of polysaccharide is starch. And structural polysaccharide it means that makes the cell wall and that is cellulose. Cellulose. This is the two types of polysaccharide on the basis of function. First we will discuss the polysaccharide that is starch. Starch. Starch is a homopolysaccharide. As we have discussed, homopolysaccharide. Starch is homopolysaccharide. First one. Second, it is the storage form. It means the foods which is synthesized in the plant different parts in the form of starch. As we have already discussed, plants synthesize food in the form of glucose. But glucose is a reducing sugar. Then this glucose transfer from one place to another place in plants in sucrose form. Because sucrose is non-reducing sugar that is disaccharide. But only storage form that is starch. So it is the storage polysaccharide. Starch. This starch is made up of two components. So we can say that the starch has two components a starch has two components which one amylose and amylopectin amylose and amylose pectin how these amylose and amylose pectin different from each other in amylose, we know that amylose is the part of starch and starch is polysaccharide. It means amylose contain many units of monosaccharides. How many, many units of monosaccharides present in amylose? There are 200 to 2000 units of monosaccharides present in amylose. This is the first difference. And in amylose pectin, 2000 to 20,000 monosaccharide units are present in amylose pectin. This is the first difference between amylose and amylose pectin. Second one, as we shown that starch is made up of glucose. So amylose and amylose pectin also contain glucose. Which type of bond formation can take place in amylose and amylose pectin? 1,4 glycosidic glycosidic bond is formed in amylose how we can show the one for glycosidic bond we know that the structure formula of glucose is this one this carbon number one carbon number two three four five and six remains in the form of here this other it forms it binds with the other This one carbon number one, two, three, and four, five, and this one is six here. One and four, it forms the glycosidic bond, and this is called one four glycosidic bond. The amylose can be seen glycosidic bond one four. Amylose pectin, it may forms two types of structure, two types of glycosidic bond. First one is it show. 1,4 glycosidic glycosidic bond just like this one it also show 1,6 glycosidic bond 1,4 glycosidic just form just like as amylose but it also shows 1,6 glycosidic bond how the 1,6 glycosidic bond formation can take place in amylose pectin suppose this is the structure of glucose and it may contains oxygen carbon number one two three four five and this one is six in amylose pectin one six glycosidic bond formation how the glycosidic bond formation can take place this is the carbon number uh, another glucose formed with the oxygen this is the carbon number one 
टू थ्री फोर फाइव एंड दिस वन इज सिक्स द बॉन्ड विच इज फॉर्म विद बिटवीन द वन एंड सिक्स दिस वन लाइक दिस बॉन्ड फॉर्मेशन इज नोन एज वन सिक ग्लाइको साइडिक बॉन्ड अमाइलोज पैक्टिन शो वन फोर एज वेल एज वन सिक्स ग्लाइको साइडिक बोन बट अमाइलोज ओनली शो वन सिक्स वन सॉरी वन फोर ग्लाइको साइडिक बोन थर्ड वन इट ऑलवेज फॉर्म्ड ए लीनियर स्ट्रक्चर इट फॉर्म्स ए लीनियर स्ट्रक्चर वन वन फोर ग्लाइको साइड बोन कैन टेक प्लेस मेनी यूनिट्स ऑफ ग्लूकोज कैन कंबाइन इन ए लीनियर स्ट्रक्चर सो इट फॉर्म्स ए लीनियर स्ट्रक्चर माइलोज पैक्टिंग शो लीनियर एज वेल एज ब्रांस स्ट्रक्चर इट शो लीनियर वेन द ग्लूकोज स्ट्रक्चर आर दन फोर ग्लाइकोसाइडिक बोन दैन इट फॉर्म लीनियर हाउ इज द ब्रांस स्ट्रक्चर कैन बी सी ब्रांस स्ट्रक्चर दिस इज द ग्लूकोज फॉर्म दिस ब्रांस स्ट्रक्चर इज फॉर्म जस्ट लाइक दिस वन लीनियर वेन ओनली ब्रांस स्ट्रक्चर कैन बी प्रोड्यूस वेन बोथ साइड हो Both bonds are present. One four as well as one six glycosidic bond form. Then amylose pectin show branch structure. Suppose this is the one four glycosidic bond, and we know that this one structures are also may be present. This is the called branch structure, and linear structure may present in a coily. This is the linear structure. It will be present in. highly coiled this is the major second one we know that starch when react with iodine when the starch is mixed with iodine the iodine color show blue black why the blue black color of iodine solution becomes this is due to the amylose starch show or represent blue black color blue black color with iodine with iodine this is due to the presence of amylose this is due to the presence of amylose due to the presence of amylose the iodine solution becomes blue black color next one is starch the starch may be present in food or we can say that in plants in two forms which one in grain form or tuber tuber just like as potato but mostly the starch is present in grain form how the grain form starch may be stored in the plants <coughs> starch store in plants in grain form mostly the starch is present in two forms grain as well as tuber tuber in potato but mostly times the starch present in plants in grain form the grains are of two types which one simple grain or compound grain simple grain or compound grain <coughs> compound grains how the simple grains may present if the store storage of starch is at one place suppose this one here and it forms a many starch layer which is protected with many starch layer this is the storage form and it is called hilum hilum is covered with many sheet of starch starch sheet this form of grain is known as simple grain and it is found in maize the example of simple grain is maize second one if one hilum is present if one hilum is present in the grain and which is covered with starch sheet that is called simple grain and if there are many hilum two or more hilum are present and both are all different types of all hilum are covered with starch sheet that is called compound grain for example this is the hilum and it is protected with this 
seed, another hilum, and this is also protected with the seed. Then another hilum, it is also protected with seed, and all these protected with the different star seed. This is called compound grain. An example of compound grain is rice as well as potato. The simple grain on the basis of hilum location. On the basis of hilum location, simple grain is of two types. On the basis of on the basis of hilum location the simple grain of two types which one one at the hilum is present at the corner terminal such like this one this is called extrinsic and another hilum is present in the center and there are many circle may be present that is called concentric grain so one is extrinsic extrinsic grain this is the example of extrinsic hilum present at the one corner and there are many seeds may be present to cover this hilum another is concentric concentric grain if hilum is present center there are many circle may be present this type of grain is known as concentric grain this is the use of use and structure of a starch the another structural form of polysaccharide is cellulose the another structural form because we have this seen that Polysaccharide is of two types on the basis of function. One is in the form of starch, that is the in the form of storage, that is starch. Another one which forms the cell wall, that is called cellulose. Cellulose. Cellulose is a homo polysaccharide. Homo polysaccharide. As we know that it may contains many units of monosaccharide. All the units are similar and that is formed from glucose. Starch is also formed from glucose and cellulose is also formed from glucose. It is or it makes the cell wall <coughs> in the plants. So, on the basis of different functions, storage and making of structures, that is called different starch and cellulose. Cellulose, this one. Glucose, in cellulose always formed 1,4-glycosidic bond. 1,4-glycosidic bond. As we have seen that, glucose or Glucose, it may contain oxygen, carbon number 1, carbon number 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 remains in the form of open arm. Another attached with the other glucose units. This one, carbon number 1, 2, 3, 4 and fifth here, 6 remain in the form of arm. 1,4 it forms the bond that is called glycosidic bond. In cellulose, beta glycosidic bond is also formed. Beta glycosidic bond. How is the beta glycosidic bond forms? As we have seen that in two units of glucose are attached with each other at 1,4 glycosidic bond. And this may contain Thus, H and OH, and at fourth position, the opposite orientation of hydroxyl OH and H. How is the beta glycosidic bond can take place? When the carbon number one of one glucose attached with the carbon number four with the other glucose, 
दे मे रिड्यूस वाटर मोलिक्यूल दे मे रिड्यूस वाटर मोलिक्यूल एंड द बॉन्ड विच इज फॉर्म फ्रॉम द कार्बन नंबर वन एंड फोर ड्यू टू द लॉस ऑफ वाटर मोलिक्यूल दैट इज कॉल्ड बीटा ग्लाइकोसाइडिक बोन हाउ इज द बोन बॉन्ड फॉर्मेशन कैन टेक प्लेस ड्यू टू द लॉस ऑफ वाटर मोलिक्यूल एच एंड ओ एस दिस मे रिड्यूस्ड एंड इट फॉर्म्स बॉन्ड दिस वन लाइक नॉट फ्रॉम हेयर it forms from here this bond is known as beta glycosidic bond uses there are many uses of glyco uh, cellulose uses of cellulose as we know that cellulose is a complex substance so it makes the first cell wall in plants cell wall in plants this is because it is a complex substance and cellulose is also used in many purposes for example it is used in cotton fiber cotton fiber in which cellulose present may be nearly 90% 90% cellulose is present in cotton fiber second one the cellulose is also present in jute and hemp jute and hemp which are also used as fiber in jute and hemp cellulose present in 40% cellulose mix with the other chemical and it may use an another types for example when cellulose when cellulose mix with alkali or we can say the base it is used as yeah it forms rayon rayon is known as synthetic fiber synthetic fiber another use of cellulose is when cellulose mix with acetate and is called cellulose acetate that is used as shatter proof glass cellulose acetate is used as shatter proof glass shatter proof glass we know that one glass that it we it, it is heated with another a stone or a particles it breaks down and falls but nowadays in automobiles the frontal glass wind screen is made up of cellulose a film of cellulose see acetate with the glass and this type of glass when heated with the other stone the glass may break down but it cannot be fall off due to the presence of film film shatter proof glass so this shatter proof glass is safe for the drivers as well as the other one six next one cellulose nitrate when cellulose mix with the nitrate it forms cellulose nitrate and it is used in explosive it is very explosive and one more types of use of cellulose is when cellulose methyl carboxyl or hydroxyl when cellulose methyl hydroxyl becomes a combined mixer that becomes very soft and this type of mixer is used in making ice cream cellulose methyl hydroxyl it becomes very soft due to this softness due to this softness it is used in making ice cream these all types of homo polysaccharide we have discussed in next part we will discuss of heteropolysaccharide